in this video, I have decided to set myself a challenge and start a clothing brand with a budget of £500. And in this video, I am going to share with you exactly how I would budget that £500 to get a clothing brand off the ground. My name is Taddy G and on this channel, I like to share what it's truly like to run a clothing brand as well as dropping tips, tricks, gems and all of that good stuff. So if you are into that sort of content, please, please, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So we've got £500 to get going with starting this clothing brand. So the first thing I said to myself, okay, I'm going to allocate this budget to five main areas that I feel like are important and I can't, you know, scrimp on or miss out or add in later on in the business when I have a little bit more cash. So of course that is our product and samples, packaging and marketing material, website, accounting, and then potential miscellaneous so obviously we always have to have like a little bit of money for whatever could like creep up that we might not have necessarily thought of so let's start off with product now i only have a budget of 500 pounds so i'm thinking okay really and truly i can only really launch with t-shirts so i'm thinking okay three t-shirt styles maybe it's the same design but different colors or maybe it's different designs but essentially we're gonna have three different types of t-shirts on the website that we're launching with now even though we are a bit limited on money i am not going to be compromising on quality so for product i am setting myself a budget of 300 pounds what t-shirts am i actually going to go for now i mentioned i am not compromising on quality so i decided that the best t-shirt that i'm going to go for is the stanley stella creator t-shirt now the spec of that t-shirt is quite decent i've already used it for my own clothing brand that i have it was one of the first blanks that i used and the spec of that t-shirt is it's made using 100 percent ring sprung organic cotton so you know those are already like some buzzwords i can use on my website it is 180 gsm which is you know not too bad the t-shirt itself is soft to the touch it's nice it's good quality it's from stanley stella which is you know a good quality brand Brand. and i'm gonna go for three colors so i'm gonna go for their off-white color black and desert dust now the reason why i'm going for these three colors is because obviously black is black off-white you know i personally am not a big fan of like white t-shirts so having like an off-white you know is good enough for me and desert dusk gives me like essentials vibes which people are like into that sort of like color tone right now which is why i have gone for that color now let's talk about the cost of this Stanley Stella creator t-shirt like how much is it gonna set us back how much of a dent is it gonna make into my 300 pound budget that I have for product so on the bar one clothing website which I will have linked down below because guys if you want to take this video and literally implement it and start your own clothing brand with 500 pounds everything I'm gonna talk about is real and you can literally like take what I'm saying and actually implement it so the website that I'm using to find these Stanley Stella t-shirts is going to be the bar one clothing website and this stanley stella t-shirt comes in at four pounds 62 pence so knowing that price i'm thinking to myself okay i could probably only purchase around about 30 t-shirts in order to sit in my 300 pound budget now if you do the maths if i'm only purchasing 30 t-shirts it does come out to be 160 pounds and 56 pence including vat which is obviously not the 300 pounds budget that i've set but obviously i'm not just going to be selling plain t-shirts so i need to have a budget for whatever like print style or decorative technique i'm going to use for all 30 t-shirts and of course the 30 is going to be split 10 10 10 in those three different colors then sizing i'm probably not going to start on small i'll probably start on medium just because of the experience i have in the clothing industry so i'm probably going to do like three medium 
four large and three XL. So that should add to 10 and that's 10, 10, 10 across all sizes. Shipping from the Bar One Clothing website is currently £9.45. So I also have to incorporate that into my overall price. Now printing or decorative techniques. I am going to go for DTG printing. That's what I use for my own clothing brand. And I actually get my garments printed by a company called Shirt Monkey. They're based in Cheshire. For my own clothing brand, it costs around about £3 something to get it printed. But of course, this is a much lower order. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of a surcharge to it. And I'm going to say, okay, to print about 30 t-shirts, it's probably going to cost me around about £3.50. Don't go run into Shirt Monkey and say that Taddy says it costs £3.50 to DTD print a t-shirt because I currently don't know how much their costing is. This is just like a little guesstimate that I'm using for the purposes of this video but honestly guys it should be around that price hopefully. Obviously to print the 30 t-shirts it's gonna cost me £105 and then they charge an additional £10 to have that product shipped to me. Then of course I am gonna have to you know ship the product to them because they're not like local and that's probably gonna cost me like an additional additional 10 pounds so the total cost of dtg printing and shipping back and forth is going to cost around about 125 pounds now if i then add that to the cost of the garments the total cost of actually getting the fully made product to me so printed shipping and everything actually comes to just under 300 pounds which was my budget and it comes in at 294 pounds and 45 pence now samples before all of this and dabbling into all of this yeah we do need to get some samples so sample wise i am going to get one of each color because i want to see what the color actually looks like and the total cost for getting those three samples from the bar one clothing website along with shipping is gonna cost me 24 pounds 30 then of course i am gonna want to get those garments printed as well so i can have a look at the dtg printing getting it printed and shipped back and forth is probably going to cost me around about 25 pounds so the total price for sampling is probably going to set me back around about 50 pounds so i'm going to have a budget of 50 pounds for sampling but the great thing about having these samples is whilst you're waiting for your bulk order to get printed or whatever you can start actually producing promotional material using those samples so you're going to use those samples to take pictures for your website for example so don't not get samples even if you feel like it's a little bit of a waste of money you can still use those samples for something quite useful so we've gone through the samples we've got the product we are actually left with a budget of 155 pounds and 75 pence and it's crazy because it's like the money's just going like we haven't got much left but let's move on to what I feel like is probably the next most important thing and that is packaging how are we going to get our product to our customer so under packaging and marketing material I'm going to be looking at poly mailer bags because that's probably going to be the cheapest option for me to go for I'm going to want to have like the clear garment bags to actually put the product in first and then put into the poly mailer bag I want to have a hang tag because even though my budget is limited branding is still everything to me so hang tags are a must i want to have a thank you card because you know my poly mailer bag is going to be so plain so simple i want something in the bag that customers can you know pull out and be like oh okay like it's from this brand they have made a little bit of effort so definitely i want to have a thank you card in terms of poly mailer bags i am going to be using the website poly postal bags now i'll have that linked down below it might be called something different but i'll have it linked and the size of the bag that I'm going to go for is the 30 by 40 centimeter bag and I feel like that should like fit our t-shirts in quite snugly and to actually purchase 50 of these poly mailer bags in like a variety of colors will actually only set us back six pound which I feel like is a bargain if you're looking for poly mailer bags definitely check out this website I will have it linked and by the way this video is not sponsored by any of these companies 
mentioned. I mentioned clear garment bags and luckily the Polly Postal website also has these clear garment bags and I am gonna go for the, um, I think they call it like the budget version, I'm not sure, but you can actually get a quantity of 100 clear garment bags for only £2.34 pence, like that is crazy. That is a good bargain and the size that I'm gonna go for for these clear garment bags are the 30 by 45 centimeter bags yeah it's bigger than the um outer bag but with the clear garment bags you can kind of like fold it down a little bit like squeeze out the air and then slot that straight into our outside bag so the total cost of purchasing the poly mailer bag the clear garment bag plus shipping which comes in at a whopping seven pound 20 that's gonna set us back 15 pounds and 54 pence you know including shipping hang tags for my hang tags i'm going to be using this website called bizet.com and to actually get 500 hang tags because unfortunately that's where they start from so make sure like you're really like clear about what kind of hang tag you want because you're gonna have 500 of them that you're gonna be able to use you know over a long period of time right now they have a deal that you can get them for 11 pound 80 and that's printed in color on both sides and you can upload your design or you can work with one of the team members at Bizet to you know help design your hang tag but that's obviously going to come at an additional cost now I'm going to use the same website to get my thank you cards just so that you know shipping can just be like all like one price and I'm going to be looking at postcards so I'm not going to actually type in thank you card I'm going to type in postcards and you can get a hundred of these postcards for six Pound 13 and obviously like add your own design so shipping i didn't actually like see a price because i had to like click through add my design i was using my ipad so i didn't really want to do that so i've actually just set shipping to be like 10 pounds which means the total cost of the hang tags and the thank you cards come in at 27 pounds and 93 pence but obviously we have that thing called miscellaneous just in case the shipping cost costs end up being a bit more than what I guessed it to be that's why we have like that miscellaneous pot so what's our budget looking like now so we've got our products we've done our sampling we've got our poly mailer bags our clear garment bags we've got our hang tags and we have got our thank you cards we have now spent 372 pounds and 18 pence and we are now left with 127 pounds and 82 pence website so shopify always sort of has like some sort of deal so currently they have a deal where after your free trial for three months you're paying one pound a month so building our website on shopify isn't really gonna cost us too much money until you know you get beyond that three month period and we are gonna build this website ourselves we're gonna sit down we're gonna take time and learn how to build a website website so that we can save on money because we haven't got that much of a budget we are also gonna have to pay for a domain name and obviously it depends on what kind of domain name you end up going for so i've set aside a budget of around about 20 pounds to purchase a domain name for the year product photography so remember we've got those samples and we're gonna use those to take our product photography which we're gonna take ourselves on our phone so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna lay our garment on the floor we're gonna make sure you know we've set it up nicely pulled out any of the creases whatever and we're gonna take like a bird's eye picture of it we're gonna use photoshop and crop out the background or we can pay somebody to do that but we're, we're probably gonna do it ourselves and that is how we're gonna get like our garment pictures it doesn't have to be perfect because we are just starting out but you should be able to sort of like get an image that kind of looks like this obviously i mentioned photoshop i will have that linked down below but that is going to cost us around about 21 pound 21 pounds and 98 pence a month so in my budget i'm just gonna you know budget for like one month's use of photoshop unfortunately we don't actually have enough in our budget to have like a full-on photo shoot but alternatively which is not something that i ordinarily encourage we can just go you know outside into our 
our local area and work with maybe our friends and family that are willing to you know pose in our t-shirts and just get like a couple of shots that we can use on our product home page because we do need to have some sort of imagery on our product home page that looks good that allows people to be like okay cool and want to shop our product so in terms of website and the money that we're spending on our website we've got 20 pounds for the domain name three pounds to use shopify for three months and then 21 pounds and 98 pence for photoshop which we're going to use to edit our product imagery and any additional products that we end up taking a picture of so that brings website up to 44 pounds and 98 pence leaving us with a budget of 82 pounds and 84 pence we're doing quite well so accounting guys i know it's really boring but it's so important to actually get our accounting absolutely down from the very start we need to track what's coming in and what's going out obviously we've sat here and we've worked through our budget of 500 pounds but regardless of that there might be like little costs that end up going out we need to make sure we are keeping on track of that and it's just good practice to have that down from the very start now personally i actually use QuickBooks to track my expenses for Shavoshava and also for my personal brand Taddy G. So Shavoshava is actually registered as an LTD whereas Taddy is registered as a sole trader so I file for self-assessment. Now QuickBooks allows me to you know sort of do both so I have an account for Shavoshava and I have an account for Taddy G and I feel like when you're starting out and you've got a budget of £500 I would like encourage you guys to just you know register for self-assessment so being like a sole trader and with QuickBooks they have a um, version that is catered towards sole traders and that's what I use for Teddy G and that actually ordinarily costs me £12 per month and I actually do have a link for QuickBooks which gives you a 90% discount for seven months because it is a subscription so um, you'll be tracking your expenses obviously like month to month so I feel like that's really really good so it's actually gonna cost me around around about two pounds for my accounting and you know it gives me peace of mind knowing that I've got that down and that's already like being tracked or whatever so that's accounting like that's it really for accounting it's just a case of just like logging in and keeping up to date with you know your expenses and being able to you know know what goes where know what means what and all that good stuff which I feel like QuickBooks is really good at explaining so now we are left with 80 pounds and that's what we're going to use for our missile so different bits and bobs that we might have missed out I already have one that I did miss out and you know we purchased hang tags but how are we attaching these hang tags to the clothing we're gonna need to buy that little bit of string and that's probably what's gonna come under miscellaneous so different things that I have missed out that I've thought later on like oh I probably should get that so we've got a good budget of 80 pounds on anything that we've missed out maybe shipping might be more expensive than anticipated we've got our miscellaneous budget for that and if I want I could potentially you know go on Facebook marketplace buy a sewing machine and get some garment tags printed sit down learn how to use a sewing machine I mean the person I know how to use a sewing machine but I could sit down learn how to use a sewing machine and start sewing on my garment tags just to add a little bit more of branding to my garments but yeah guys I hope you've enjoyed that video that is how I would start a clothing brand with a budget of 500 pounds now guys what i want you guys to do in the comments here is comment a budget that you want me to use to start a clothing brand and i will make a video with that budget be it two thousand pounds be it a hundred pounds i don't think i could go much lower than a hundred um maybe 50 i don't know that would be a challenge but comment down below what budget you want to see next that would be quite fun and i would try and create a video like this too that you can you know basically take and implement and get started with your clothing brand but yeah my parking is about to expire so i really have to go but i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will catch you in my very next video